Hopefully I can keep this short. This is my folding gate. First thing I made sure I did was keep these bolts over as far as I could on this 4 before. Give me more. It'll pull it back further. Maybe only an inch or two, but it matters. Then I took this 1 by 2 Measure what I wanted. Mine had to be closer at the bottom because of the animals, so the animals can't get through. Uh, that keeps it from folding up quite as far. But it still folds up good. It's just a walk-through gate so I can get into the... This is the... Uh, I'm standing in the milk parlor right here. That's a big word for... I'm going to put the cow here and milk it. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, how that little sucker works. Folds down. Really mine's got a wood metal shop, so I stole some scrap from him and put that together to uh, catch the latch. And the others are shorter, so they don't hit it. But they're long enough to catch the 4x4. Four four. And it works exactly like I designed it. Took about 15 minutes to figure it out. I've been wanting to make this, but I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to do it. But that's the way it's going to be. I still have to put dowel, get a dowel rod, and uh, I'm going to cut a bolt about uh, an inch and a half longer on each side. And then I'll drill a hole in the dowel rod, stick it out here about two inches for a handle, so I can lift it up right here. And as I lift it up, even when it's up all the way... That's as far as it goes because these hit down here. My dowel rod will still work out just fine. Yeah, if you could, if you wanted to even them out, put them all in the same space, then they would fold up nice and tight, more like that, without the space up here. And you'd get another, maybe another inch up. This is enough room for me to walk through. That's about 18 inches in there. And then you just close it from this side and walk away.